Hey guys, welcome to another video of the Sith Raid. Uh, so this is tier 6, phase 3. Uh, and I'm taking in my raid team. Um, so let's just see how it goes. So phase 3 I think is the most RNG dependent of all the phases. Because it really depends on like who gets isolated, what kind of debuffs do lightsabers get. Also Treya can be tricky um, due to the, all the anti-foresight abilities she's got as you've seen. She just stunned the uh, rare scavenger. So we're already up to 12 points of weakness. Alright, let's get an Illuminated Destiny out now. Hmm. See, Treya will use Isolate on her next attack, so I'm hoping that she will hit R2. Because other guys need, need to stay in action so they can do some good damage. Oh, we got another Eliminate the Destiny coming up, so it's good. So we can do a bit more damage before Treya comes out of the topple and isolates somebody. So I'm just gonna try and keep um, R2 exposed, so he's the one that gets isolated. So we'll see if this will go according to plan or not. Just try to do a few more hits in. Oh, and we got another. So that's the third Illuminated Destiny already in the first topple. So it's quite a good start. Ray got uh, stunned. That's the anti-foresight abilities that Treya's got. So, okay, we've got another eliminated destiny. So let's quickly take all the guys out. Um, mm, I'm gonna actually use uh, standalone here to, to get rid of the bonds of weakness. And now we are back back in business. It will now obviously take longer to get the Illuminated Destiny uh, because R2 is isolated, so that's one less tune to reduce cooldowns. So really, you know, that first stop that you get where nobody is isolated really is the one that you have to do as much damage as you can because afterwards the whole thing just slows down. As you can see now, both Ray and BB-8 got stunned because they, they both had foresight. Alright, let's get into another topple. And Illuminated Destiny is ready. should be able to get yeah, another illuminated destiny out so so far so good however it all depends now on the next move because when Treya comes out she'll be able to isolate somebody so depending on RNG who gets isolated it might affect the rest of the battle significantly in terms of the damage output as long as it's not Jedi Ray or BB-8, I'll be happy with that. Alright, so we got another Illuminated Destiny. It 
so, so far this has been a pretty good run. So R2 got isolated again, which in one way is good because he's low on health, so he'll, he'll die soon anyway, so better he got isolated anyway. Got Illuminated Destiny coming up again. And we got 13 bonds of weakness already on Treya, so we'll have to use standalone. Oh, no, no, Ray, come on! Oh, okay, we lost Ray. God damn it. Uh, we lost Ray and R2 in one swoop. And that's what happens sometimes. Unfortunately. Okay, we are very, very, very low on health. So I'm going to have to use standalone on Trooper. And you see guys, just like that, it's been going really well so far and in one turn basically RNG totally screwed me up. I lost Scavenger A, R2 and Resistance Trooper because in a key moment lightsaber dodged. And that's what happens sometimes, you think oh, I'm having a good run and then suddenly boom, it's all over. So I don't think this run will be that amazing. But I just can't be bothered to try again, to be honest. Uh, I've had a couple of tries already and, and I'm already sick of this uh, phase 3. Okay, so I've done 6 million altogether, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I had quite a good RNG to start off uh, as R2 got isolated. And that's generally my recommendation. Um, one first isolation, if it's not R2 that gets isolated, then I would just retreat and start again. Because other guys are there really to do damage, R2 is there just for support. So he's really the tune that you want isolated to start off the battle. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.